financial research by monitoring products on Best Buy's website. Specifically, we're going to be looking at speakers, as they are one of the higher profit margin categories that Best Buy has to offer. To do this, we're going to start a new agent from the Best Buy homepage, and under the Audio section, we're going to select Speakers. From the Speakers page, we want to build a list based off of the speaker categories. This way we're able to see all the speakers that Best Buy offers. Once the category page finishes loading, we want to sort the speakers by best selling. This way we're able to track, over time, how regular price, sale price, brand, and customer ratings affect the speaker's popularity. Once the resorted list has appeared, we want to begin capturing text, and we're going to do so by creating a list of speakers. The first thing I want to do, though, is break the information that's in the speaker title out into two different fields. And to do this, I'm going to refine the captured text. Speaker, I want to just refer to the text that describes the speaker, although I would like to add a new category as well that captures the brand of the speaker. Now, I'd also like to capture the model, the rating, and we'll see for rating that Best Buy is just showing us the image, the URL. So I'm going to come in and refine this, and we can see that the image is named ratings underscore star underscore four underscore five. Well, really, I just want this four or five and I only really want it to be 4.5. So I'm going to do this by first adding a text replacement that replaces the underscore character with a period. Now if we look at this image again, the URL, we can see that it is now star.4.5.gif. So I'm going to capture simply the text that comes in between star and in between the .gif and we can see now that we've captured our rating. I also want to get the number of reviews, the regular price, and the sale price. However, for regular price, we can see that there is at least one of these entries that has a field missing. And if we scroll down, we can see why. For the Polk audio speakers, it doesn't contain, there's no text that contains the words reg dot price. So what we need to do for regular price is add a, sac a second capture expression. And in this capture expression, if we go through to the actual entry, we can see that we need to look for the words our price. Now that will cover both of the different types of entries. Also for sale price we can see that some of the items have a sale price but it is not displayed. To clean this up a little bit I'm going to refine the capture text and again add a second capture expression that instead of looking for a price is going to just capture the words C price and cart. Now we've built our agent and we're ready to save this. We'll call this Best Buy Speakers. And instead of choosing to run the agent now, we'll actually schedule the agent. And we can have the agent run on a weekly basis so that we're able to track the popularity of different speakers over time. This is an example of how Mozenda can be used to complete financial research.